everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'd like to share an unboxing of the June subscription box to Your Creative Studio. Um, we're going to do um, the unboxing, show you the products that are available in this kit, and then afterwards I'm going to do um, a project using some of the products. So let's just get started. Um, just received this um, kit and when you go inside it is beautifully uh, packaged. I love the little thank you card. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm sure this can be used for something. And the tissue paper that they um, choose to wrap everything up in, I always hang on to these. These are just beautiful as well. So every little bit of course can get me used if you are a crafter. I'm sure the box as well. So let's just open this up and see what is in this box this month. In fact, I'll just take this out here. Sit that to the side. Wow, a lot of goodies here. Let's get started with this one. Looks like maybe some... Oh, I don't know. Let's just take a look inside here. I don't know if it's cards or if this is going to be stickers. Oh, it's vellum sheets. Beautiful. Oh, look at these. You've got some uh, dictionary vellum, some old world maps, just some vintage images, old newsprint. Oh, these are beautiful. And then these are just papers. So again, um, on the last one was um, the same sort of thing. You get the papers as well as the vellum. And these are really fun to work with. I particularly love the vellum. Um, being on the road, <clears throat> I haven't tried to do any printing on vellum, so this is great to have for me. Um, oh, and there are some more goodies inside. Oh, yeah, these are nice. The, oh, you know what these would be perfect for? The little slide die. You could just slip this inside of there. You got some papers. I'm not sure. These may be stickers, actually. It feels like this is a sticker because it's got a plastic backing. But wow, look at all of these. You get some of the... Um, Maps. Oh, this one's beautiful for a um, like a nature journal. Very, very nice. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so you get this package. Sit that over, and let's take a look at this one. Um, Hang on, guys, let me just grab a knife real quick. I'm sorry if the uh, camera is shaking, guys. I have got this mounted slightly different today. And when I move, unfortunately, uh, being in an RV, you are going to get some of it shaking, so I apologize for that. Oh, these are beautiful. Ah, oh, look at those. So these, it's called a Retro Stamps. But look at those. They look like a postage. These would be beautiful, again, in one of those um, slide dies. And you get quite a few of these. Oh, look at that one. That's gorgeous. So you get, uh, I don't know, probably, I don't know, I'm guessing probably 30 or 40 of those. So I'll set that to the side. Um, let's look inside here. I love all the little packaging. 
and if I open this really carefully, I can probably salvage this little envelope <laughs> and use it for something. Oh, this is some washi tape. Oh, that's pretty. It's a poppy design, so that's going to be really useful. Um, could probably make use of that in a autumn journal. Um, I haven't started one yet, but I am thinking it might be nice to do one. If I can get uh, things in gear, I might try to do an autumn journal this year. And so this is the next one we've got here. And, oh, we've got a couple of uh, cling stamps. <clears throat> so let me just... I love this one because you've got the flower with the script, but then you've got a couple of other ones. These are really nice because um, I've got some blocks. I can make use of those. And then the good thing about the these versus the wood mount, they don't take as much space. So that's cool. Alright, so that comes in there. And... Oh, this is another stamp. Oh, that one's beautiful. That is a really nice one. That's a nice large one. I'm really anxious to use that one. This is a really, really nice um, kit this month. So in here, it looks like we've got some more stickers, and aren't these beautiful? You've got the wording and then the florals. Looks like maybe two of each design. This one's beautiful. Oh, I like that as well with the butterfly. Very, very pretty. Okay. Oh, this one's beautiful. Yeah, okay, I can... I my head's starting to um, spin with ideas now. Oh, I like this one. Look at that with the old checks and the daffodils. That's beautiful. Gosh, you get a lot of these as well. Beautiful. Okay, so that's really really nice. I can see getting a lot of use out of these. What's nice is you get a really good mix of things. Because um, <clears throat> if you're limited in, on space like I am, I can't always make purchases from Amazon, for example, because sometimes you have to buy such large quantities. This is nice because you're getting a really good assortment of things without, you know, 500 of one item. So if you are looking, you know, to have a really nice mix of things, I highly recommend this. And here we've got some beautiful die cuts. Wow, I love the colors in this um, particular kit. These are, to me, <clears throat> you know, they're very much in the autumn shades. But isn't that gorgeous? It's very similar to the stamp, that cling stamp. Again, you get two of each design, and wow, these are going to be beautiful in my own uh, journaling. Look at that. So yeah, it's kind of making me anxious to do a spread in my journal. In fact, maybe, I don't know, I'll have to think what project. I might just take you guys along and do a journal page spread with some of these. That would be kind of different, wouldn't it? Retro labels, so you get a little pack of these. That's really pretty. So again, uh, looks like you're getting two of each design and there's quite a few in that. Beautiful. Well, this is nice. Yeah, these are going to be a lot of fun for a journal page. 
I haven't um, worked in my journal in a while, so I guess that's probably why I'm. this is kind of speaking to me from that <clears throat> point of view, because I've been wanting to, to get back to doing it. So here you've just got some little stickers, and it looks to me like you could color these in if you've got some alcohol inks. I would imagine you could do that. That's really nice to have that option to coordinate it. And then here looks like maybe some paper ephemera. So you've got really nice mix of different size papers. And this is just beautiful. Got another bit of vellum in there as well. Yeah, this is a mix of paper and vellum sheets. That's just beautiful. And I love this polka dot design. Really nice kit. <clears throat> so let me just sit that to the side and then I'd see some beautiful flower stickers. I can always use these. That's really nice. Love that. And then here, it looks like a little bit of tissue paper, uh, which is really nice to work with as well. You can do some tags with this. Or, as I said, in my kind of um, creative journal, this would be beautiful to, to put down. Beautiful. So you get, um, looks like, two, three, four, five sheets of this, which is really nice. And then this, let's see what we got here. Oh, this is neat. This is done on acetate. That's really cool. So you could cut these out. But look at these. Just a really thin. I love this. All these different old receipts. And you've got even, you know, the distressed edges. Just beautiful. This is a wonderful kit. Yeah, I'm really excited to get, get busy and... Uh, see what we can come up with this okay so there you have it guys that's the your creative studio uh, June subscription box and I will put a link in the description box below if you are interested in checking these out you can um, hop on over there and get yourself something Okay guys, I'll be back and we'll do something pretty with all of these. I have decided I'm going to work <clears throat> on a journal spread. This is my own journal. Um, it's not completed. I'm working on a slow stitch um, closure, but I don't want to uh, complete that because it's expanding quite a bit. And I've got a few places I'm going to go have to go back and... and kind of reinforce um, as it's an altered journal. So, okay, so this is the page I have chosen and I've grabbed some pieces from the subscription box that I want to work with and I just thought we would, I'll just show you what I'm going to do and what I'm doing is I'm just going to get this page prepped for some future writing because sometimes I um, think of something that I want to write down and what I have found with the altered journal I've went through and I've added the papers these are um, some of the designer papers that you get in the paper stacks and when I went through and glued all the pages I prepped everything 
but in order to do some writing I'm finding I'm getting a little bit frustrated because I have to then do a whole spread just to just to document something so what I thought would be kind of fun is to go ahead and do a few pages that are decorative but leaving place that if I if I see a quote or here's something that I, that I want to write down. Um, I can just open up to something and get that down on paper. So yeah, that's just one of the things. You know, uh, now that I've started journaling, I am finding uh, for me, I think I need to go through and prep a few places so that I can just get in and and document things. So this is one of the uh, handwritten pieces um, that you get, old vintage uh, letter. And I just thought that would be beautiful over this book page because you've got the old, it's kind of yellowing. And I'm just hoping that my glue has not dried out. It's been a while, guys, since I've used this. So bear with me as I get this going. We are back in Florida. We've been here for a couple of weeks now but I just haven't uh, you know obviously trying to catch up with family and sorting through the RV it's not left me much time for creating I'm hoping that that I'm now going to have a bit more time so that's why this glue has not been used in gosh probably about six weeks um, and I do want to clear up some stuff. Some of you might be a little bit confused about what's going on with my videos. I did a little post, um, but I don't know how many people that even reached. What I'm doing is I am re-uploading some content that I had originally. It had been for my Patreons and... I've just been uploading some of that older content because I don't I don't have uh, a Patreon channel anymore. So that's why if you've been watching and wondering why um, things don't sound quite right, um, it's all out of whack because those are things that have been going back a couple of years ago. So. I just wanted to touch base on that. Um, if some of you are wondering what, what, why everything is out of sync, that's why. So yeah, um, but I know a lot of people have not seen that content, and I just thought, you know, it was it'd be nice to share all of that with you guys. So, as I said, this was a, a book I had altered, and then I came back through with um, a paper pad that I picked up from, I believe this one was from Joann's, and I just um, covered, you know, because you take out some of the pages, so that's what the background of this is. And this, as I said, I, I really think this just screams autumn to me. So I thought this would be really pretty to get this prepped and ready and then whenever I'm I want to do some journaling all I have to do is just open up to a page. I've not been doing it that way so far but I do think that that's going to work better for me. And it's got this this page has got this little decorative bit when it you know on the print and I thought I really want to save that because I, I think that's really a pretty little piece I don't want to cover that bit up and I just thought it'd be kind of nice to have something that's going across the whole page that way so um, I just gathered up a few pieces the die cuts and one of these little vintage pieces and I just thought it would be really fun 
to play around and see how I want to do this. I, I'm, my thinking was this would, since this is such a large one, this would be kind of nice over in this corner somewhere. And then I thought maybe this for some extra dimension. But then I've got this piece that came where I just tore. And I don't know if I want to use this over here. I kind of I do want to break up. I don't want all of these straight edges, so I think I will do that. So as you can see, this is uh, much quicker when you've got bits of ephemera like this to make a journal page. Um, it takes a lot more time if you're cutting out from magazines and things but um, so yeah if you're in a bit of a rush this really does save a lot of time yeah I like that I think that's gonna be really pretty and I'm gonna have just that little bit of um, script showing So this is the place where I'm just thinking I'll keep that, that way when I want to write something I can just come in and do that. Um, the only other thing, let me see where my washi tape is, I thought it might be kind of nice to put a strip of washi along here because that's a really nice contrast, that's all kind of just blending together. And the same up here. I just think it needs a little bit. To break that up a little bit. Okay. Wow, this is um, actually. Come together much quicker. Than I thought it would. And there you go guys, it's just that easy when you've got everything that coordinates. I mean, it, it does make it much, much easier for doing a spread and I'm very happy with how that's come out. So now, all I gotta do when something, when I see a quote, um, <coughs> I could just open this up and I've got the room now to just write that down. I love that, so I've used this one, two, one, two, th three sheets, and that's the mother washi, the two die cuts, and then this bit of um, vintage ephemera. But I really think that that's come out very pretty. And you saw that was just minutes. Um, so this is what I'm inclined to do: is just go through one day and get all of my things out and I think I'm just going to go through my journal and get it kind of prepped you know like here it'd be nice to go ahead and have this prepped so that I can just open it up journal something and and I'm good to go um, so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed that I appreciate so much you stopping by today and I hope that's answered some of your questions about uh, what's going on with the channel. I have got some new content um, 
planned over the next couple of weeks and I'll be uploading those for you. Uh, but I hope you guys are all well and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.